Hi, this is Davey. Today we're going to talk about the common design pattern in JavaScript. Here's the problem. If you value testing your code, using switch statements makes it difficult to test your code. Here's an example. We have a function here called register. That function takes two arguments, a state and an action, and then return a state. This is a very common pattern in JavaScript today. Here's the problem. If you want to test this function, it uses a switch and it handles two cases, add to do and remove to do. The register function will be called each time you want to test the add to do and the re remove to do. For It doesn't matter which one you call, you're going to be using the same function, which first, it doesn't, doesn't go well with separation of concern, right? But it's a pattern that is well, well known, so most of people use it. But here is how the command design pattern can help you isolate these functions and make them easily testable and easily maintainable. So we're going to, to add here a simple object. Just create a simple object that we're going to create called register handlers. And what we're going to do next is to actually copy this add to do and turn that into a function here by passing the state and an action. This is an I action here. And the state here, we can start with initial state, right? So that's the first step. Second step is to copy the remove and then uh, pass it over here, same thing, and turn that into a function, okay? And that takes a state and then an action, which is an I action as well, okay? So now, right below, we can get rid of this and basically handle that this way. We're going to create a handler and do a mapping between the register handler and the action type that we receive right here. So we got register handler, and we're going to make a mapping by just passing here the action type, right? And now we can then return the fact we can call the handler if it exists by passing the state and the, and the action. And if it doesn't exist, we can just return the state, right? So when you, you, you have this approach, you can see that we have two functions, add to do and remove to do, but that's not done because here add to do and remove to do are not really the mapping for the add to do here and remove to do actions. So what you, the way you're going to fix it is by selecting this and then turning them into uh, properties that can then be matched using the, 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 this pattern here, right? So now you can see that add to do and remove to do, which are action, are mapped here as add to do and remove to do, okay? So from this point on, we have two functions and a reducer that's still uh, 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 doing the job. And here we can actually say, learn RxJS, and if we do this, we add, and we see that our application is still working. But that's not that's not it. We're going to improve this. As you can see, those are two uh, uh, properties of an object here. Here is another level of improvement we can bring to this. We can actually uh, only take this and then turn that into a function, right? I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to pass it there and then call it add to do and just pass this as add to do here and we're going to do the same thing with, with this other function right here. Okay, and we're gonna call this one remove to do. Okay. Remove to do, okay. so. Once I do this, you can see it's still okay. My application is still working pretty well. So I can add, I can add learn RxJS here, and we see that it's still working. So let's bring that onto another level. One last step, and we're done for today. So we have the add to do. It can then be exported onto another file, and it makes it difficult, really easy for anyone to actually manage this function in isolation and then you can use it right right here and have your reducer 
that basically uh, uh, handle that using this mapping. That's it for today. It was the common design pattern in JavaScript and see you next time.